What is up YouTube? Outside because there's a lot of people in the house and I don't like when people are around. <coughs> um, so I figured just do it right this time and not be quiet in time people walk by and stuff. Um, today, today, or is it tomorrow? Nah, it, it's definitely today. Yeah. Today. Um. Nah, it's tomorrow. I, I can't do this. Bye. Just kidding. It's definitely today. <laughs> okay. That was probably stupid, not as funny as it should have been, but, oh well, I don't care. Um, I would like to talk about the pros and cons of having a 24-hour gym membership. Um, I'm going to start off with the cons. I mean, pros, why did I say cons? I'm going to start off with the pros. <laughs> Just because some of the cons do go in with the pros, and it, it, it kind of, I was thinking about doing the cons first to start with, but I started thinking about, it. nah, it'd be better just do the pros first. Um, so the pros. One is not a lot of people have time for the gym with, um, or with a normal gym membership that's only like 12 hours of the day closes at like 6 p.m. kind of thing um opens at 8 p.m. I mean 6 a.m. why did I say 8? I was thinking A and then I started thinking of the number and then like A and 8 sound similar I guess but anyways um with having work and stuff um people go to their jobs um after their jobs they go home and do whatever because when they get off their job the gym's normally closed um and they don't have time before they go to work because if they do which a lot of people do wake up around like 3 a.m. Um, me, I go to bed at 3 a.m. and wake up at 7. So, I'm kind of opposite of what more, nor, uh, most people who wake up early. I, I go to bed late and wake up earlier than normal. I pretty much get only get four hours of sleep, four to five hours, and which is enough if you cannot tell by how energetic I am. Um, different people have different sleep schedules and it, it's not really they actually prove that eight hours sleep thing wrong for different people it's different times if you get too much sleep you become depressed how much a day to get the energy you need if you get too little sleep you're always too exhausted and also leads to depression um I find it that um, four to five hours is plenty for me. <clears throat> but anyways, back to the original video. Um, so, anyways, yeah, time management kind of thing. They they are pretty busy during the day and have to go to work. And when they get out of work or whatever they're doing during the day, they don't have time to go to a normal gym. So that's where a 24-hour gym comes in. You do what you need during the day. Me, I work, depending on our staffing, uh, the people that we had working, um, I worked 8 to 10 hours a day. If we had plenty of people, I worked 8 hours a day, um, 5 days a week. If we didn't have enough people, I worked 10 hours a day, 4 days a week. Um... So, as soon as I got work, the first thing I did, I would go to the gym. So, I normally got out of work around 8 
to 10 p.m. if I had closing. Um, so, um, so, um, I get out of 8 to 10, um, and as soon as I get out of work, I go to the gym, I work out for a full three hours. So by the time I'm done working out, it's about one o'clock in the morning. I walk home, um, I get my rest in. Simple. <coughs> um, then I wake up at 7 a.m. Although, as soon as I get home from gym, I don't go to sleep because like I said, it's one o'clock in the morning, I go to bed at three in the morning. So I spend two hours just watching a little bit of Hulu. So it's work, gym, Hulu, sleep. Obviously with meal plans, um, I was drinking them protein shakes, get my diet in, and I'd get me some egg, sausage, cheese biscuits, um, simple stuff. Stuff that gave me enough protein, stuff that didn't have too many fats or calories in them. Um, and that's really how I lost so much weight too is because I was eating I wasn't eating a lot but I got enough protein in to be able to get my nutrition in and all that stuff so it pretty much all the certain stuff came up and I had to lose my gym membership but still <clears throat> so pro one is time um pro two is With 24 hour gym memberships, one of the things, it could be at all gyms, but one of the things I noticed there, there's more staffing th because I, I haven't ever got, this was my only gym membership. Um, this 24 hour but I went to other gym memberships and some of them weren't 24 hours I noticed they didn't have a lot of staffing so if you had questions uh, if you were a newbie and you had questions proper form proper technique um, stuff like that or just any questions in general there wouldn't always be someone available um, <coughs> At least that's what I noticed when going into other gyms. Um, it might not be like that everywhere. Um, but, of course, 24-hour gym there during closing. They just give you a key card and you get in. There's a lot more workers, it seems like, at a 24-hour gym membership. Uh, because they have a lot more people coming in, I guess, and have a lot more help. Um... And it allows for the people that aren't that experienced to go over there and sit there, talk, ask questions. Um, I've, I've got a, a lot of my knowledge that I know right now comes from just sitting there for about 30 minutes talking to one of the trainers. Um, Like they, I didn't even get a personal trainer just because it was too expensive. I mean, the gym membership itself was 40 bucks for a two person plan. That was amazing. That was a amazing deal. Um, I thought it'd be around 80 bucks for something like that. It was only like 40, so half the price of our premium. So that price was amazing. Um, but the personal trainers were about 300 a month depending on how many hours you get in with the trainer um so it was about 300 a month for a personal trainer so i did not get a personal trainer of my own however i did ask a lot of questions and i became great friends with a lot of them <clears throat> especially um uh, what's his name i think his name's rick He's pretty awesome. He, he uh, a biker church, which is awesome. I love, obviously, I'm a Christian. I consider myself a Christian. I go to church. I read the Bible. Um, I pray. Um, uh, 
all that good stuff. Um, so knowing that he agreed with God, it gave us a, some good conversations about God. Um, knowing that he's a biker. I love motorcycles. I love motorcycles. I don't have one of my own yet, but I love motorcycles. <coughs> um, so yeah, with um 24 hour thing, it gives you more employees to talk to, ask questions, stuff like that. So that's pro two. Um, pro three. Um, <clears throat> I have to think about. Oh, it kind of goes in with the time thing, um, a little bit. Although this one doesn't have to do with if you're working and stuff like that. You can ask after. This is more of um. So basically, certain times of the days, certain gyms are completely packed. Um, it's different for each gym but basically if you're not busy and you can work around it you can find a way anytime go like okay this is when they're packed this is when they're completely you can uh, find a time when they're not some 24 hour gyms more people at night some more day some between 3 and 6 a.m. Um, and then the rest of the time they're dead. <coughs> Some of them between 3 and 6 a.m. they're dead and the rest of the time they're packed. Um, it, it all differs um, between each gym. You can basically start going to the gym different times each day. Find out when the gym is most empty and get you a good self-workout. No distractions. No one being too loud going and yeah there are a lot of people that do that um i am one of them um although i don't go out of control like some people do but when i'm pulling those weights especially on the lat pull down um i it gets a little tension in and i do do a few little grunts um on the last few um reps um because I'm struggling at that point what you should be on the last few reps you should struggle that's how you know you're getting your gains in um, if you're not struggling you're not getting your gains in on the last few you don't want to overdo it like if you're like struggling on first rep that's a sign you should definitely lower those weights um, it's pretty much the last three reps if you're doing like reps of 20 like I normally do um, last three reps, um, seven sets of 20 is what I normally do. Um, <coughs> I find a good weight where those last three um, reps, I'm just like, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but anyways, I keep on getting off track. Um, Um, the third pro is definitely you get you you can basically work your schedule around when the gym's most empty if you want to work on your own without all the distraction and stuff. <coughs> That's all the pros I could think of. Uh, there's really only one major con I can think of, and that also has to do with the time thing um a lot of people they're not dedicated um they don't want to go in the gym at one o'clock to three o'clock in the morning and just lift at that time they rather be sleeping if they're working off work and they go to sleep immediately a lot of people in today's day and age are like that they're, they're not as enthusiastic about stuff they um, so, if you're constantly working and you're, you, some people, this, it doesn't, and it's not a bad thing, it's not a good thing, it's just something that happens. Um, and I'm not putting people down, please don't think I'm putting people down, I'm trying to. Um, 
Hey, kitty. Um, a lot of people, if they're working all day, they want to get home. They want to relax. They want to go to sleep. They don't want to have nothing to do with the gym or working out, especially if their job was like mine and you have to be on your feet 24-7 moving already furniture and stuff like that. Um, they don't want to go to the gym like that. And it's fine. I understand. Um, me, I am type person. I do have a little bit more energy than most people. So, yeah. Um, that's really the only con I can think of, though, as far as uh, gym gyms at all. Um, I mean, you. You can make your own schedule at a 24 membership, but some people, just because you can make your own schedule, does that mean you will? Um, you, you're going to be working, you're going to be exhausted, and that's okay. Um, if anything, people like to go on their days off when they're not working. Um, some people like to get an in-home gym, which I'm not really big on the at-home gym, just because of some of the, I'll do that in another video, the pros and cons of a home gym versus a gym. <coughs> uh, the end of the video, um, I'm actually about to go do that other video now. So, good luck. Peace out. What are you doing, kitty? Why are you climbing all over me? I don't like cats. I mean, I don't have a problem with cats, obviously. It's just, I'm not a big cat person. Um, I don't like them crowding me 24-7. I'll pet them. I'll be friendly. I'm starting to not become a dog person either. I love animals.